So, ladies and gentlemen, again, what they're asking us to do is find or determine our ratio from our A to our B. All right? So to do this, again, what we need to do is find some lengths that we can create a ratio for. Well, first of all, actually, let's just think about this. Going from A to B, does that look like we're enlarging A to get to B or reducing A to get to B? So we're going to look for a reduction, right? So again, we're trying to find this ratio from A to B. So let's go and find some lengths that we can kind of see here. Um, I could count this length as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, and this length as 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Would you guys agree? So I just kind of counted the lengths for A and B. And then let's go and look at counter lengths for B. Well, B, I can see that this is 2. Here, it looks like it's, let's see, 1, 2, and then that's a half on both sides. So it looks like it's 3, roughly. I'm not really exactly sure. So I'm, pretty, I'm confident on the 4 and the 2, so that's what I would use. So to go from A to B, I'll reduce this. I'll just rewrite it as, um, as my B over my A which reduced down to a reduction of 1 half. Okay, So this reduces. So therefore, B is 1 half the size of A for our dilation. And that's it. So just find your side lengths, create a ratio, and just make sure that when you're doing